Ethiopia, Africa's second most populous nation, has around 120 million people, with over 28% being youth. This high youth ratio emphasizes the need for increased investment in education, as they are the upcoming generation pursuing higher education. Ethiopia as a country in the last three decades have seen a massive expansion in education. By doing so, Ethiopia has reached two millions of children and kids. And uh, the last three decades we have expanded not only the higher education but also the general education. Right now, as we speak, uh, Ethiopia has over 26 million students from KG to higher education. Millions of Ethiopian youth lack access to affordable and relevant higher education. Currently, there are 15.4 million students enrolled in education institutions, with over 450,000 in public institutions as of 2022. Despite significant government investment, Ethiopia's tertiary education enrollment ratio remains around 11%. While the expansion is going on, there are also observed challenges resulting from deterioration in quality and lack of relevance due to gaps in education quality infrastructure. Rio University is the applied science university. No, no, facility or something like you. We allow to workshop, to equipment, to chalu. The matter that in camera got answer. It's a fact. We open good days. Not sure. Because you are the finance way budget. Me mad double budget. But here the money is more. Go back to chill. The mom wallet. I'm just for the good. Yes, how high? Was that? And the back. I'm after. It's like you training. Go chill. But you guys are on the other end. Come after answer. More. I'm just for the energy. Yarlut University is like the more. I'm just for the good. The mom wallet. The growth is the number one. But the club back. I'm just for the good. I'm just for the good. The matter that achieve the mark. I'm at the mark. The COVID-19 pandemic tested the sector's resilience, catching universities and leadership unprepared for the external shock. COVID is a disease that is not only affecting our students, but also our families. We are seeing it remotely, we are online, we are learning, we are adapting, we are transforming, we are adapting. We are also seeing that the challenges we are facing are the internet connection, the telephone connection, and the fact that we are seeing that we are seeing technology is not only affecting our students, but also affecting our families. Digital education is transforming global learning enhancing accessibility, quality, and collaboration. It empowers students with flexible learning, skills, and professional resources, revolutionizing both academics and future careers. Digital learning serves as an alternative avenue for tackling several challenges. Dr. Zalalem elaborates on the key endeavors undertaken by the Ministry of Education to digitize higher education. Top priority digital literacy, you know, so the digital measure is not enough. We can't have digital literacy, you know. From our own memory, we can't have that. So, we have to have a blended learning model. So, blended learning model, from our own choice, we have to be able to get from our own. From our own digital content, which we have to be able to get from our own digital content, the digital content, we have to be able to get from our own. So, blended, you know, physically, we have to be able to get from our own. Pedagogy, we have to be able to get from our own. Flipped classroom. Mulanmer sos saat mulu kami asal meran keflus tu kono. Macam mereka konten tu cuma ada largo, tapi mari kita ambil bawa meto keflus tu more discussion kami ha. Eh blended learning kan? Eh mana asal tu? Tapi mari kita anywhere, any boat tu kono. Tapi macam kelas yang dia melta cok, macam mari kita lalu ini kan. During the COVID-19 pandemic, there was a swift global adoption of digital technology in the field of education. Both students and teachers enthusiastically welcomed novel learning approaches. 
despite facing obstacles such as policy disparities, limited access to e-learning resources, and the need for improved digital skills, the question remains, how can e-learning contribute to enhancing the entire teaching and learning process? Digital education is not separately thing that we talk about, but it has to be aligned with the educational policy, with the national economic development, and also with the global aspirations for better educational provision. On the other hand, this is a very good opportunity where Ethiopia can provide its knowledge, culture, tradition to the global community using digital uh, repositories and where we can use e-learning to give education about Ethiopia and Ethiopian to the global community. So now this is the right time. Digital learning is our learning system. Education is more focused on our knowledge and acquire the Madrid to access it. And the most important internet now, the Wi-Fi now. As the light is more touching and the noise is more, our young people are more comfortable face to face. Let the young people know how to use the Madrid to access it. Based on the data, we learn that the main knowledge is in the Nasad Kalambiyama. As part of MOE's digital education initiatives, the e-learning for strengthening higher education, e-she, is thriving to turn challenges into opportunities in the digital education sector. The e-learning for strengthening higher education is a multi-stakeholder uh, initiative which is being implemented by uh, five partners. The main objective or mission of the project is improving the quality, accessibility, relevance and resilience of higher education by leveraging digital technology. The initiative implementing the Daragut and Nawano, Napri requisitu. Digital infrastructure, digital infrastructure, digital infrastructure. Lay lock digital infrastructure, multimedia studio, smart classroom, Nazula digital infrastructure, Nacho. Kuletanya, integration of EdTech by education system. So, for instance, EdTech Menloandu, learning management system. In the end, it will equip the youth with the skills needed for employment and entrepreneurship, creating a brighter tomorrow for all. By changing the institutional system of education delivery, by improving the skills and the competencies of the instructors, and finally by enhancing the skills and the competence of students to fit better with the labor market, the entire education system will have a positive impact. The major challenges in terms of resource, in terms of getting an appropriate leadership, in terms of availing infrastructure inputs for the education, especially a modern inputs for teaching education at higher level, which is a technology-based education that would fit the demand of a 21st century student. To succeed in digital education in Ethiopia's higher education, collaboration among stakeholders is crucial. The Ministry of Education leads with universities and the campus. Solving connectivity and device issues requires telecoms, partners, and the private sector. The quality assurance and accreditation of digital content such as courses and programs need to be revised by the ETA to maintain the expected standards.